How's it going everybody? This is Always back with another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix a bug in Ionic CLI when you try to emulate your project to iOS Simulator using Xcode 10. My project was working fine, everything was good. I recently updated my Xcode to version 10 and I realized that I'm no longer be able to emulate my project to iOS Simulator using Ionic CLI. So after spending about a day, I figured out one flat which will help me to emulate my project to any of simulator available in my Xcode. So what happens if I type Ionic Cordova emulate iOS? It will start building, but you will see an error called info.plist file not found. So just wait a second, uh, this error will be coming really really soon so now it's talking to Cordova emulate ios and there you go so here we can see it says info.plist file not found now this was crazy i could not really find any help online but fortunately one guy reported that there is a new build system in xcode 10 which we can use by defining a flag so i'm going to clear the terminal and let's use that command now. So that is basically Ionic Cordova Emulate iOS. I'm gonna define a target manually, which I wanna target iPhone 8, and I say build flag, use modern build system. I press enter, and this time it's going to use a modern build system from Xcode 10, which will which will basically won't look for info.plist file, and it's a new build system and I will be able to emulate my project to any of iOS similar and here I have targeted iPhone 8. So let's take a look at if our emulator is uh, up and running. So it says build successful and there you go our emulator is starting. That's an OptoG mobile app which I'm working on. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it is. This is how you fix your uh, emulator. So now I'm gonna show you one thing in Xcode as well. So if I open up Xcode and let me just open a new project, maybe this tabs dot workspace, this is good enough. So if you go to file menu and go to workspace setting and here you can see we have a build system where we defined a new build system set as to default or a legacy build system. So if you want to use Ionic CLI and use Xcode 10, you need to specifically define that you want to use a new build system uh, to emulate that project to iOS Simulator. So this is how you can fix it. That was a quick video, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel.